Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we're in the basement and keeping up with my minimal, simple holiday decorating and taking my time doing it piece by piece instead of overwhelming myself and doing it all at once, I'm down in the basement family room. So the lighting might be off a little bit because I am attempting to set up a tree down here which will have to be fluffed and I want it to sit a bit before we put our family decorations on it. I am working with King of Christmas this holiday season to share with you their seven and a half foot Yorkshire fir slim Christmas tree. And I can't wait to share it with you because it is absolutely beautiful. It has 500 pre-lit warm LED lights and it is just beautiful. So we decided to go with the slim Christmas tree for the basement because we don't have a lot of space down here and the ceilings are lower and so I really like a Christmas tree that goes right to the top. We don't put a star or an angel on the top of our trees typically. I like it when they go right to the ceiling. It's just a personal preference. You do what makes you happy. If you're new to my channel, then hi, I'm Jen, and here I like to share lots of simplifying, decluttering, and minimizing motivation for you all. I am going through my home room by room, space by space, and decluttering and simplifying it, as well as kind of leaning more towards the minimalistic side of things. So whatever the definition of minimalist is for you, could be different from the definition of minimalism. For me, we're all different and we're all at different stages of this journey. So basically you do you. I'm not trying to keep up with anyone. I am simply doing the things that I love. So right now I'm gonna share with you the seven and a half foot Yorkshire fir slim Christmas tree from King of Christmas. And I can't wait for you to see it. So this is the box, I already opened it. And inside you're going to see that there is the instruction manual on the trees, how to set them up, um, how many sections it might be, the lights, the branches. It is all listed there in the manual. You also get these gloves, which are amazing for flocking your tree. You don't have to worry. Like it goes right up to your elbows. It's plastic and this is a fabric and it, they are perfect. So they're going to be great for uh, fluffing out all of the branches. It also comes with a nice heavy duty tree stand with a little lock here that fits right into the base. Perfect. It's not plastic, it's metal, and I love that. This tree comes in three parts, so we're going to put all three pieces together and set it up and plug the lights in and show you what that looks like. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree. I think I'm going to put those gloves on right now while I'm putting the pieces together. One, two, three.
I love it. It suits this space perfectly. The size of the tree isn't too wide, but it isn't as skinny as a pencil tree, so it gives it a little more volume. Our ceilings are lower down here, so it almost touches the top of the ceiling, which is exactly what we love. The gloves are perfect. Like, I didn't feel a thing. I am not a fan of fluffing a tree. Um, I think that's the reason we get real a lot of the times, because I, I just don't like spending the time fluffing it, but I think it looks perfect in this space. So now that I have the Christmas tree set up and it looks glorious over there in the corner down here, I have this bin of a very few decorations that I use. I'm going to set up what I want and have that done. It will be really nice to have this space done so we can start enjoying it, watching Christmas Hallmark movies or just Christmas movies down here in the evenings together as a family. And then I'll focus on the upstairs. I'm doing things differently this year. This is still pretty minimal. Um, I don't want it to be an overwhelming thing decorating down here. So I am going to keep it simple, minimal, and very intentional on what items I use in this space. I'm walking around feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July so now, don't know where, don't know how, lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes, so it's true, I'm so glad you feel it too, nothing to Okay, so this is what I decided to do here on the bar. We have this microwave. We bought it during um, when Hurricane Fiona was happening and we needed like a plug-in microwave. We're gonna keep that down here for popcorn. I like this. It's simple, not too cluttered. Um, I have a pile of things I'm gonna end up donating because I have no need for them anymore. So like this here, this gingerbread house, these two little, um, woodland themed animals that say peace and believe uh, I possibly might see if Connor wants them in his room but if not they're gonna go and these two birds I don't think I have one bird left and I went through like a bird phase and um, yeah um this tree down here I'm gonna declutter that don't need that and then over here I just have the little hot cocoa sign next to the Tosimo for hot cocoa and our paper towels. I would like some under cabinet lighting here. We have this here as well for a candle from Bath and Body Works. So I'm just gonna keep that there because I think I might bring that upstairs. And then our soap. So I'm gonna put, oh, these are pillow covers. I'm gonna put these things in here to donate. There we go. This is what the basement's looking like. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you all. 
I, um, I haven't, I mean, this stuff has been decluttered for a while and it just kind of sits here. Yeah, it has not gone out of the house. So I, I have to package that up, put it in a bag and get it to a donation center. So this space doesn't feel as cluttered because really it's feeling like that because I have all these donations. So there we have it. That is our simple, minimal uh, family room holiday decor for 2022. I am liking everything that I have so far. It's manageable. It's not too much. And it's not a lot of inventory that I'll have to manage year after year. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. So don't forget to check out King of Christmas. I'll have them linked down in the description box. I have the seven and a half foot Yorkshire fir slim Christmas tree with 500 warm LED lights. And what I really like about this tree is not only are the lights standard, like on all the time, but there are six different functions. So they have this, they have this push button where you can press them for different functions. On the tag, it tells you what they are. Function one is power on, function two, slow motion, then fl fast flash, slow flash, and 30% power. So it actually has a, a low power function, which is great if you wanna save on electricity. So I'm gonna press, let's see, um, it's probably washing me out right now. I'm gonna press the button and show you what it is like in slow motion. That is fast flash, slow flash, and 30% less power, which it still gives this gorgeous glow. This is my favorite though. 100% is the full lit 
tree and it just makes me so happy to have a tree down here and I think it cozies up the space. Last year I had talked about bringing the Christmas tree that we have in our bedroom downstairs but I never did do it because I loved it in our bedroom so much. So I am so grateful for King of Christmas for sending me this tree and I'll have all the information linked down in the description box. So don't forget to go and check them out and order your King of Christmas tree now. I wanted to share with you two other, well, one other thing that came with the tree is they also send a bag for packaging up the tree at the end of the holiday season, which is great. We don't, you don't have to keep the big box lying around. And these gloves, can I just say, were absolutely amazing for fluffing the tree. So great job, King of Christmas. I absolutely loved it. And I love how it works out in our space down here in the family room. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what type of content you wanna see here on my channel. I'm gonna have lots more simple minimal holiday decorations to share with you as we transform our home from a minimal simple space into a festive minimal simple space just by adding a few touches of holiday decor that mean something to us but yet doesn't overwhelm us so that's kind of my theory this year is to keep it sweet and simple and do what makes us happy Remember, we're on this journey together. We're trying to uh, simplify, declutter, and minimize our spaces to make room for what matters most. Thanks again for being here. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out King Christmas, link down below. Bye everyone.